All right, do your intro bullshit. <laughs> I may have fucked my wife, but I'm also Eskimo brothers with my wife. <laughs> the most painful sexual experience. Anal. The fact, <laughs> the fact that he's you. You got an anal? Okay. Yo, know, this is the reason people hate me. It's because I'm real. Uh, okay. Real douchey. No, I'm... <laughs> and Miley Cyrus, you forgot her. So yeah. I wish twerking caused cancer. <laughs> Wouldn't that be some shit if they just like, all right, we're gonna put a cork in your dick, and you're never gonna come again. Uh, you're just like, uh, uh, uh. I'm frustrated. <laughs> I know no, you're not a classy guy, but have some class. The show is called Hard to Swallow. Are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? <laughs> I can't do this. President's yeah, list. Yeah, four point How many blowjobs that cost you? Uh, a couple. Yeah, all right, was it worth it? Does he oh. eat a lot of pineapple? Hell yeah. <laughs> I think that's a myth. I don't even know what the bitch you're talking about. Oh, you never heard this? Mm-mm. I, Go ahead. I mean, I don't know. Please, do tell. Tell her It's what? like, apparently, if a guy eats a lot of pineapple, like, his jizz tastes better. I just don't know why that would be true. You know what? Actually, that is... It's, it's, uh, she knows it's true. What you eat can affect... No, the, yeah, the yeah, yeah, certain, yeah, yeah, but like, yes. pineapple, why is not like watermelon or like it might oranges be. just as good? Why is everyone saying pineapple? Maybe that one's just more acidic, so it travels faster to your sack. I, I know, it's a lot Gross. less salty after a vasectomy. That I do know. God damn that's, it. That's, I was just, I'm going to fucking puke now. That's interesting. Good lord. Well, that's <laughs> apparently the sperm is the salty part. As far as my mother's concerned, I don't oh, get erections. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, because no boys do. No, that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, no, because I don't remember that with my stepson. Like, you could, one minute you couldn't get the boy to take a shower, the next minute you couldn't get him out of the shower. I, I was never a shower jerker. I don't, no, neither I don't, was I. I don't like no, the... I just kidding. Yeah, right. She's everywhere else jerker. She whipped yeah. her tit out at the damn stoplight tonight. I did I s- not. You were like, maybe you bitch is just fucking titty <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it, there's cars going by. No, it was dark. Somebody almost got in an accident looking at her oh, fucking titties. Oh, yeah, did they? Did they definitely do that? It was disgusting. <laughs> Whatever, you just itch your balls all the time. Yeah. Like, I'm so sweaty. I'm, I'm a, a big I'm pile of sweat I'm sweating like a fucking pig right now. I'm a hairy bear. It's kind of disgusting, but actually the fact that you are so have to be so close for the mic and you're breathing on me is actually cooling me down, so it's like... <laughs> oh, that's kind of weird. It, I wish your breath smelled a little better, but hey, the air is nice. So there was a whole show no, the about... the weird attractions on Mori are weed. <laughs> no, listen, listen. Right. So, like, a bunch of girls... They had a bunch of girls in there who had been adopted and through one way or another had found their biological father not knowing it was them that's and were them. dating them. Ew. Ew. Oh, that's yeah, disturbing. I've actually seen that. Have you seen that? I saw one where the guy was sleeping with his daughter. She was, like, 20-something. Like, years they had already been dating and, when they found out. Yep. Yeah, and you had... can't be my daddy. <laughs> Let's hope not. No, he's only. You would have been given. You're 19, babe. No, oh, am I supposed to throw ages out there? <laughs> no, we already talked about this. No, we did. We oh, did. Okay. We discussed the That's, fact that you know, unless Jay started at a really young age. Oh God. Yes, I don't know. I would have been seven. I thought Dodger, I Is that so. even anatomically possible? I didn't even. I didn't even know <laughs> what it, my penis half. did when I was seven. <laughs> right. I was like, it keeps shooting lemonade. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Lemonade OP. Yeah, dummy. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. The oh picture. God. Okay. Today, the girl that I was babysitting this morning, she she drew a picture of a snowman. It just looked like a dick. Honestly, I'll, I took a picture of it. I'll show you. It seriously just looks like a dick. So I took a picture of it on my phone because yeah. I was like, great snowman slash penis that you drew there. It was nice. very funny. Is that the one she said fell on scissors? Yeah, she told me a story today about a snowman who fell on scissors, and then his head got cut off. Children are very disturbing. Okay. Oh, you were actually babysitting a child, child. She's four, yeah. When you said babysitting, I just thought you meant, like... Not the kind of babysitting People that you were showing to... Oh, no, no. Showing the housing. The housing, no, no. Yeah. An actual child. I'm like, okay, then. No, an actual child. <laughs> Those girls going to Grand Valley. An actual and child. snowman fell on scissors. snowman that... There's programs for people like that. <laughs> right, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
No, you're not on a hockey team. That's a different kind of helmet. <laughs> she's also she's also the one that um, peed on the floor, just like on the floor in the, in just the bathroom. bathroom. Oh, is that what you but, guys were talking about earlier with pooping on the floor? Yeah. Or was that well, just you? No, the baby poops in his diaper, and then he sits on the floor, and then it like squishes into his butt, and then oh, like, nice. it's gross. Um, that, oh. But no, the other day when I because the baby said every morning. Where but, was this? Down the road. You're just people. Oh, you're just babysit. Okay, gotcha. Um, she babysit. What is you're that actually mean? literally babysit. Li- yeah, what, do you okay. think this is not true? No, I believe you. No, this actually happens. It happens I... every day. So the other day... <laughs> Jesus. Um, I question so fucking your sincerity, so, Bob. <laughs> so, the other, so the other day, um, I'm like getting the baby his bottle from the refrigerator or whatever, and I hear her from across the house go, Bethany! And I was like... What? And she was like, I pottied on the floor. And in my mind, I'm like, are you fucking kidding? I'm like, seriously, Kendall? And she's like, yeah, I had to go so bad. And I'm like, okay. So I walk in there. She's standing there, butt ass naked, clothes like next to her on the (laughs) ground. And there's just a puddle of pee on the ground next to the toilet. And I'm like, how did you miss this? You're like a foot away. She goes, I lifted up the potty and had to go so bad, I just started peeing. I got some on my clothes. And then she just stops and looks at me and goes, why is it yellow? And I was like, (laughs) shut up, kid. When you said potty, I'm like, you know what? I literally had to clean up my lady's room at the restaurant the other day because some chick shit out of the toilet seat. Why is that on you? Aren't you, like, manager? Well... Can't you delegate that to somebody? Uh, My boss told me that. She's like, you need to delegate because I have the worst stomach in the world. I'm in there... Gloves on, napkin over my face, trying to get the because what the chick did it right too because she stunk up my whole damn bathroom. <laughs> this is the picture that she drew. It's a snowman with a really big dick. Right? I told you. Oh. I was like, holy fuck. Sorry. Continue your poop. Story. You think he comes snowflakes? Uh, probably. Go ahead. Probably. Um, I don't know. I just started cleaning up, and then I grabbed one of my servers. I'm like, I'm. I said, I can't do this, because if I have to do this, I'm going to have to clean my own puke up after I'm done. <laughs> so she was like, you're making me No, no, no. You're like, I got the shit cleaned so, up, but I need some sawdust now. You know, you now. can't do that shit in the middle of our house. You yeah. can't just be like, hey, you, leave your station. <laughs> Forget your customers. Yeah. And go take care of the shit in the bathroom, because some chick just missed the toilet. The r- How do you do that? I don't know, but... Ew. Was it liquid? No. Or was it... <laughs> Really? No, no. Hey, shit no. fascinates me. I'm fascinated okay, by well, shit. Want to hear my shit story? This is great. Yeah. So Absolutely. I used to work at a restaurant. This is like two, no, two or three years ago. Okay. And um, I was a hostess, so like at the end of the night, I would just have to like take the garbage out of the bathrooms, like wipe down the counters, whatever. Pretty easy. But like if anything gross ever happened, I'm like I'm not doing this. So I go into one of the stalls, and there's just like shit everywhere, like on the walls, like everywhere. And I just walk out of there, and I'm like, I go up to my boss, I'm like, Brian, um, someone just shit all over the girls' bathroom, and he stops and goes, again? And I was like, this <laughs> happened before? Like, this has happened previously? Oh, that's and hilarious. And I was like, I'm sorry, again? Brian, I was like, you could not pay me enough to clean that up. And was he, this in Detroit-ish? No, this, well, this, yeah, in Milford, okay. yeah. But I was just like, Brian, I'm sorry, but he, like, my boss is cool, I was like, you cannot pay me enough to clean this up. And I talked to the dishwasher, and I was like... I'll give you half my tips tonight if you clean up this shit. And he was like, done. I don't even do that. I'm like, Andy, my dishwasher, who love the dishwasher. Dishwashers, we just make them he, do he, Literally, the guy talks like Boom Howard. He can't understand how shit comes out of his mouth. <laughs> Pretty much. I'll be like, Andy, I need you. Get him out, please, in a bucket. And he just grumbles under his breath, but he loves me. That's like when I worked at the, uh, the ho- I worked at Super 8 in Hudsonville mm-hmm. years ago. And the maids, every every time I worked for a shift, which wasn't very often, but every time, it'd be like Monday morning, all the parties were done, Sunday night, whatever. They'd come down and be like, there's another fucking upper decker up there. You know what upper decker is? Oh, that's I, where they shit in the They shit in the, in the tank. tank. Oh, yeah, no, so yeah. So every time you flush, the shit water fills the is, toilet. Isn't up. it sad that I know what Ew. that term is? <laughs> I, I think my sister taught me that. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm debating in my head whether I should share with her my shit story. Oh, do a uh, <laughs> about the bed? <laughs> yeah. Do it. Do this is bear? great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be good. All right. 22. So, uh, what, 22. Yeah, 22. You were 22. Two, something like that, you yeah. You were 22. Don't act like you were 22. <laughs> you were 22. Right. I, wish I, was, I wish I was 12 for this story. 
So I was working at Meyer at the time, and I'd I'd only worked there for like four days at this Meyer. point, and I'm doing third shift stock, and it was the first night I was on my own, and I just kept having to run to the bathroom, and I was just shitting my ass off, just green slimy fucking green? shit. <laughs> yeah, it was slimy? green. It, it looked like ectoplasm or something. Ew, I don't even know what that is. But so it sounds gross. <laughs> I get back to my aisle, and I was, I was so sick, I was just sweating and sweating, and I was pale, and I was working really slow, so my, my boss comes over, and she goes, um, I'm gonna need you to, like, pick up the pace a little, and I'm like, bitch, I'm shitting and about ready to vomit. <laughs> Did you say, bitch, I'm shitting? <laughs> I was pissed. I was... Like, but what? <laughs> Did you just go up your boss, bitch, I'm shitting. I was shitting. I just, okay. Um... And before she even finishes of whatever reprimand she was going to tell me, I have I didn't even know where the loading dock exit was yet. So I start running toward the back room and I'm scurrying around trying to find the back the, the loading dock door. Yeah. And I finally get there and immediately vomit all over that back patio. And she comes out and she's like, "Um, I'm going to need you to get back to work now. Are you okay?" I'm like, "No! Are you fucking serious? Like you see the chunks of bullshit?" <laughs> so, oh so I I was like, "Fuck it, I quit. I'm done." I go home. I go home. I get in bed. My my buddy who was staying with me at the time with his wife, they were sleeping on the living room floor of my one bedroom apartment. Um, he comes in and he's like, "Are you okay, buddy?" And I was like, "Oh, feel good. Oh man." Oh. Did you eat something bad? I don't know. I don't know if it was food poisoning or just a random flu, but... The random flu. <laughs> he goes, um, we're going to the store, so if you want to, you know, you need anything, and I was just like, Sprite. <coughs> Grandma always gave me Sprite. Give me some Sprite. <laughs> so, <laughs> they leave, and I ended up falling asleep. And like I said, I was sweating. I had the, the worst flu I ever saw. I was sweating so bad that I was sleeping naked. This was before I slept naked, usually. Okay. <laughs> now it's just a thing, but back right, then right. it was it was nothing. Especially when I had people living with me. Right, right. Um, so, I wake up and I'm just like, holy fuck, it's hot. And I'm just like, man, I'm sweating more than normal. I just fucking, I just felt soaked. And I pull the blanket off because I felt like I was going to puke again. And I pull the blanket back and there's just liquid shit in, like, nipple down in my bed. Ew. Like, I had done it and then just, like, rolled around. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It was just the most miserable, like, ugh. Like, you can't even fathom the, like, the humiliation. It's hard to be humiliated when you're by yourself. Right? But, but you're still, just like, you're like oh, oh my god. god. So I quit. And I knew they were they were coming. They would be back shortly. Because I didn't even know how long I was sleeping. So I was like, oh, fuck. My roommate's going to be home soon. I don't want to be dragging this fucking p- shitty blanket out the Literal door. Literal shitty blanket. Right? No shit. So I was like, no, no, no shit. <laughs> Yes, shit. Not yeah. no shit. Um, no so, pun intended. <laughs> did you fucking throw away your mattress or you <laughs> did, all your sheets? I quick jumped in the shower, <laughs> rinsed all the shit off me, made sure it went down the drain. Just Even like, though I was sicker than fuck, I was like, I sheets. can't let them know. I can't <laughs> let them know. So <laughs> I go in my room, I oh, shove man. some shorts on, I just take the entire sheet, the whole bed set, all the fucking the, the pillowcases, the sheets, the comforter. Fucking wrap it up like a uh, little balloon weight right, and right. fucking drag it out to the dumpster and throw it in. <laughs> just not even in a bag. I was like, oh, no time. <laughs> no time. Just get this shit out of here. This literal this shit. Literal out of shit out of here. And they come. I, I went. <laughs> so I went to bed. I Poor went back to sleep. Shitter. I if, went to sleep. If anyone forgot, this is four years ago. Like, not, not when he was a child. <laughs> I was not a kid. I was a grown man. And so I was so so sick and tired. I just laid back down on the bed, and this like there's no bedding on the bed. And my, my buddy and his wife come back, and he opens the door, and all the bedding's gone. And he's like, "I got your sprite, but what the fuck happened?" I was like, "I, I can't talk about it. I now can't you can talk, talk about, about it." it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I told him this day that because he, every time I talk to him, he's like, "Dude, right. what happened in you, that room?" Where right. send him. The link to this podcast and be like, now you know I shit the bed. My mom just retold, retold me the story yesterday <laughs> when I was over there. She said that there was a, she was dating this guy. I was a baby. And uh, he would run out to get uh, the pizza. They were having pizza for dinner or whatever. 
So she, uh, while while he was gone, I had shit my diaper. So she's cleaning me up. Didn't have any baby wipes, of course. He uses a kitchen towel. He comes home with the pizza, puts pizza down, da da da. Starts divvying out the slices. Pizza on the plate. Pizza on the plate. Pizza on the plate. And then uh, paper towels. Boop. Oh, we only got two paper towels. Whatever. Paper towel for you. Paper towel for you. And then he grabs the fucking towel <laughs> with his slice of pizza. Takes his bite. <laughs> wipes his face. face. No. <laughs> She was dating. She was dating him at the time. Yeah, he it didn't last long. But yeah, yeah she was... I'm guessing he had Instagram. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, my baby's shit. You just wiped it on your face. Apparently, she said he laughed about it. She said he was a good sport about it and didn't make a big deal out of it. But I would have been like, what the fuck? <laughs> I would have died. Literally died. <laughs> lots, lots of stories about poop. Yeah, that's probably enough on the shit. Anybody that knows she works me. at Deja Vu. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, but then I just part time at Sensations. Ooh. You know, no high traffic. Anything for a buck. Parkway traffic. Or Parkway traffic. I, I always up, get those two fucked up. I grew up on the west up. side. Are you gonna be the place a shithole? There's a friend oh of mine. Oh my god, I was I met with my counselor the other day. Oh. For from CC, and she was telling me this guy's name to get a hold of, and she goes, "He owns." What I thought she said was, "He owns that topless bar downtown," <laughs> and I'm trying to guess if the, this guy who was a professor in um like, the head of the culinary management program at CC. So I'm like, teeny bikinis, and I started, like, Lady Godiva. She's like, no, I don't know, it's that bistro. I'm like, oh, tapas. tapas. Then she oh, said Sanchez. tapless. <laughs> I know. Well, I said, she said that, I'm like, oh, Sanchez. Is it Sanchez? She's like, I'm like, I thought you said tapless. <laughs> <That's so awkward. laughs> she's a... laughing, I'm laughing. She's kind of, like, not real young either. But There's I a... didn't realize that, yeah. <laughs> There's a friend of mine who is on Foursquare as well, and always checking into Hot Tropics, and in my head, I always fuck those two up. Parkway, Parkway Tropics, and... Oh, yeah. So every what, time she checks into Tropics? work, it's like a suntan place, right? Uh, I, I think idea. it's tanning. I'm pretty sure it's tan tanning. I've at a tanning booth a day in my life. But, um, I mean, she'll check in there, and, and I always <laughs> gotta like be slut. like, not not the... Which one is that? The tanning, or the, <laughs> That's funny. the fucking strip club? Well, I did go to Parkway Tropics for my bachelor art party. Okay. It's pretty seedy. Yeah. I've been there Jason twice. Jason, butt acne. Oh, yeah, back knee. No, <laughs> back knee is on your back. Yeah, I know. This is butt acne. I was trying to keep it pleasant. I, I, crack knee. <laughs> yeah, crack they call it acne, back knee, crack knee, and sack knee. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> sack knee just sounds gross. Because, I don't know, something screams STD. <laughs> Speaking of which, did you hear, I heard on the radio last week that uh, Michael Douglas. Oh, did you? Did okay, you yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. But he was saying that. Did you hear this? He got throat know. cancer because he performed a certain sexual act on a chick that I'm... had the HPV virus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. And so... I'm like, shut up. And then we got in a conversation at work, and one of my guys was like, yeah, like, I heard so many women in the United States have it. I said, 70% of the population has it. <laughs> it doesn't even know it. God, I'm going to with Chad. <laughs> I need to get some vaccine or some shit. Yeah, you Whoa. do. <laughs> No, I'm talking about like the way my, you were itching earlier. You do. No, my doctor, my doctor keeps telling me to go to. Excuse me.